folks. So I wanted to make a video on how to label root position triads for our final. So first thing I wanted to do was go over um, how we label our triads. We have four different types of triads. We have a major triad. We have a minor triad. We have a augmented triad. And we have a diminished triad. Now, the first thing that I'm going to look at everywhere is the quality of the fifth. So in a major triad and a minor triad, we're going to have a perfect fifth above the root. In an augmented triad, we're going to have an augmented fifth above the root. And in a diminished triad, we're going to have a diminished fifth above the root. Um, and in just to round off the um, augmented and diminished triads, we're going to have a major third between the root and the third in an augmented triad. And in a diminished triad, we're going to have a minor third between the root and the third. Now, with our two types of triads that have perfect fifth relationships between the root and the fifth, um, the major triad is going to have a major third and the minor triad is going to have a minor third. So keeping that in mind, um, let's do some labeling of these triads. Now, this is where you're going to want to take whatever the root note is and consider the, the scale or the key signature when analyzing the quality of the triad. So this first one, D is our root. So we're going to be thinking of D major, which has F sharp and C sharp. So we would have D, E, F sharp, G and A. To look at the relationship between our root and our fifth, we can see that it's just a regular D to A. It's a perfect fifth relationship, which means we're either dealing with a major triad or a minor triad. So now we look at the relationship between the root and the third. And the root and the third is D to F sharp. That is just a regular major third that occurs in our major scale. It's in our key signature. So here we have just a regular old major triad. And the way that we're going to notate that is just by putting the letter of the root of the triad. So just D. Um, I wouldn't put an M there because it tends to get confusing. Some people mark their, um, their big M's look like their little M's, their little M's look like their big M's. So just use D, regular D, whatever the, the root letter of the triad is, is going to indicate the major triad. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have a G. So in G major, we just have F sharp. So we shouldn't have a D sharp occurring automatically. That means that it's either raised or lowered. And in this case, it is raised. So we have an augmented fifth relationship between the root and the fifth. Let's check to make sure that we have a major third and we do G, A, B. If you're somebody who writes out the scales, we would look at G, A, B, C, D, and see that with our D sharp, we have our augmented fifth, and we have our major third that occurs in the scale. So here, we're going to put G plus, or you could write G aug. Either of those is going to be a correct way to say that we're looking at a G augmented triad. Next, we have A flat, and in A flat major, we have B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. So that E flat that we have here, that occurs within the scale, which means that we're gonna have that perfect fifth relationship. And then our C, it's not supposed to be flat or sharp. That also indicates that it's in the major key. So we have a perfect fifth and a major third, which is gonna tell us that we have A flat major. If you're one of those people that likes to write out the scale, we have A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. So we can see that we have that perfect fifth relationship and that major third relationship. So we're just gonna keep regular A flat. Okay, now we have G flat as our um, root note. So in G flat, I'm just gonna put it over here. We have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat and C flat. So we have, let's look at our fifth first. We have G flat to B to D flat. That occurs in the key signature. So we have a perfect fifth relationship there. But then between G flat and B double flat, we don't have double flats in the key signature. In this case, we know that that is actually going to be lowered. So we have a perfect fifth and a minor third relationship. So we have a G flat minor 
triad. If you're somebody who likes to write out the scales to check this, we would have G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, and D flat. So we can see we have our perfect fifth relationship, but then something is wrong here. B double flat is a lowering, that's our minor third. So that's how we determined that quality. And then our last one, we have A, um, so we would be basing this off of A major, which is F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So first thing that we notice is that that E flat probably should not be there in our major scale. So we're looking at a diminished fifth already. Let's double check and see. We also have our minor third because in the key it should be a C sharp, but it's a C natural. So we have a diminished fifth and a minor third. If you're somebody who writes out the scales, we have A, B, C sharp, um, not. D sharp, no idea what's happening there, sorry, D, and then E. So we can see already we have that diminished fifth, and then we have a minor third. So that's how we're determining that quality. We would mark it like this, A with the little degree symbol that means diminished, or you could write A dim if you would prefer. Okay, so those are our major, or not major, our treble clef. Now let's go down and do a couple in bass clef, and then we will be done. So first here we have D. We're going to be basing this off of D major, meaning we would normally have F sharp. Um, so we would have D, E, F sharp, G, and A. We can see that our D to A relationship is still a perfect fifth, but our D to F sharp we actually have F natural here. So we have a perfect fifth and a minor third, which means that we have a minor triad. We're gonna put D minor there. Okay, then we have um, A, C sharp, and E sharp. In the key of A major, we would normally have um, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So that E sharp that we have there that is an anomaly. We shouldn't normally have that, which means that we are looking at an augmented fifth. So we're probably looking at an augmented triad. Let's make sure we have a major, we do, we have a major third as well. So we have an A augmented triad. We're gonna do A plus or A aug to indicate that. Now we've got B and in B major, we have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. So that F sharp should be there. F sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E and F sharp. So that is our perfect fifth, which means we're either looking at a major triad or a minor triad. So let's look at the relationship between the root and the third. We don't have D sharp. D sharp is not noted, so that is a minor third. So we have a minor triad. So we would put B minor. And then our last one is G. And in G major, we would have F sharp. So already we've got some flats here. We know something is a little wonky. We're not looking at a G major triad. So G, A, B, C, D is what we'd normally have. We have a diminished fifth because we have D flat and then we have a minor third. So we have a diminished triad, and we would put G degree sign or G dim. All right, there we go. That is a review of root position triad labeling.